Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Brody Consulting Group. To get more information about our publishing and coaching services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Brody, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. Today, we're being joined by Mark Romero, who is currently writing his first book after quitting his job in London to move back to New York City. Mark, welcome to the show. Thank you, Paul. Good to be here. Are you ready to get started? Sure. All right. Question number one. What is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writing their book? So honestly, uh, you know, I can only answer this for my own process, but it would really be to take it page by page, chapter by chapter. Um, I think it's really easy to feel overwhelmed by everything you haven't written um, or edited. Uh, and I just think it's important to stay grateful and just encourage yourself for whatever you have done. So instead of kind of looking at that horizon and, you know, being overwhelmed by everything that you still have to do, you know, just focus on, on that page in front of you, and as long as you chip away block by block, um, eventually, you know, you will make progress. So I, I remember just staring at a stack of 350 pages, uh, feeling like too intimidated to start. So uh, one of the things I did was I actually wound up splitting it up into 20-page clips, and this just kind of gave me that sense of accomplishment every time I could, you know, put aside a red line bundle. Um, you know, other than that, I'd say make sure – to get outside eyes on your words and uh, make sure that you do some workshops with strangers. You know, they won't pull any punches like your parents might. And, you know, just through any of the darkness, just remember to have fun with it. And what do you feel so far is the hardest part about getting published? So I'm sure most people would say finding an agent, uh, which can certainly be a challenge. But for me, it's more internal. It's really about sitting down to truly write your best work uh, especially with all that noise and beautiful life ringing in your ears. It's a constant battle, you know, between being out in the world for inspiration and then doing the less sexy part, which is typing alone at your desk on a Saturday night when, you know, everyone else is having fun. Uh, so just having that discipline, I think, is really difficult. Uh, and that's definitely the challenge. You know, in the end, I think the work needs to speak for itself. So sure, there's like tons of great writers out there pushing their pages. Um, and agents and publishers having limited time and energy to read it all. But if the writing truly shines, someone will eventually take notice. You know, someone will raise it to the light. And I think, you know, making sure, first and foremost, that you write your best and that the words are truly good, you know, that's the most difficult part about getting published. And please share a marketing strategy that you're planning to use in your book launch that you feel is going to work well. So yeah, obviously a little early on my end. Um, one of the things I've been doing is really trying to build my brand uh, through articles. Um, so it took a lot of like freelance work through articles. Unfortunately, with ghostwriting, which I also did a bit of, um, you know, you don't get that branding. You know, you can't put your name on it. But um, you know, if you can get your voice out to as many eyes as possible, I think that's always helpful. Uh, one of the things that you know, two makeshift strategies that I've really been utilizing is Instagram and you know it's easy to hate on Instagram but at the same time there is such a beautiful community of readers there who are very supportive of work and you know if you know you're not if some if one post hasn't got a lot of traction you just know you need to get better and sharpen those words for the next one um, I actually had a bit of a makeshift guerrilla campaign I was doing just because I, I love traveling and so I got like a huge stack of stickers made with my website on it and any, you know, any place that I, you know, went to, I would just, you know, tag, uh, you know, walls, windows, um, uh, you know, bathroom mirrors with uh, these stickers. And actually, it's been my only real outreach so far. And I've gotten some pretty good traffic through the website from that. So I kind of just have fun with that. But I think, I think um, from a more professional strategy for this, it's really going to be about um, – getting the excerpts into the right pages. I want to try to get up, like, you know, certain uh, chapters, hopefully serialized um, from different publications. I think that'll be a good way to get some momentum. But um, other than that, you know, I just want to get the writing good, 
speak to an agent and figure out the best uh, advice going forward from them. Now you mentioned about writing articles for websites. Are there any specific ones that you're targeting? So my background, um, you know, I have uh, an economics and philosophy background from college. I went to a liberal arts school. So a lot of my, you know, I guess you could call my thought leadership pieces would be around that. So for me just to get, and you know, one of the things that's kind of fun for me is I think a lot of times financial writing can be very stale and boring. So I try to, you know, make that a little bit more human. Um, obviously my own, you know, novel is certainly not financial. It's really about, you know, a bumbling idiot running around this world. Um, so that's kind of fun, but in terms of, uh, yeah, in terms of, uh, trying to do articles, I think you can just really target, um, publications that are going to be really along with your kind of like your specialty. Uh, so for my own sake, like I, I like writing realism and I think, you know, certain publications that are more in tune with that, uh, you know, really been going after more seriously in the last several weeks, like the Atlantic. Um, I really want to get, you know, obviously in the New Republic eventually, but um, I actually, I really haven't been as focused on sending those out and I really need to get better about that. That's a learning process, especially with your first book. There's so many yeah. different ways that you can go with that, but your 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 strategy sound, look very sound, and I think it's a great idea taking information, writing articles for different types of websites, and also repurposing the content from your book and excerpts and utilizing that as well. So I think both those strategies are great. Yeah, it's just so funny because it's like a constant battle between you know you want to do short stories to get your brand out, right? Mm -hmm. But that takes away your your you know your effort from the novel that you really need to finish first and foremost from anything. So it's really about trying to economize your time as much as possible, um, which is certainly a battle. And you know I'll be honest, I'm I'm just learning as I go, and you know keep it on fighting. Well, let's talk about your favorite book. So, what is your favorite book, and what was the number one thing that you learned from it? Ooh, tough question. Uh, I'd say the book I felt the strongest connection to was This Side of Paradise by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Um, you know, I had read it when I was in college, so which is actually where most of the book takes place. So it really spoke to me from the start. But aside from getting more of that, you know, in, invaluable exposure to Fitzgerald's prose, it just taught me that talent will only take you so far in life. I mean, we all have these like romantic visions of being the tortured genius, but seeing that like tragic slide of Amory Blaine's wasted potential was like a serious wake up call for me. Just in the sense that you know, I realized how important real effort is in achieving results. And, you know, that nothing is handed to you in this life and you know, you really have to apply yourself in full to fight. And, you know, I guess for my own sake, you know, growing up, you like to think you're special, you like to think, you know, you're gonna grow up and do big things. And maybe you are. But at the same time, you're not going to get there by just sitting around and like, you know, considering yourself grand. You got to get down there. You got to get in the grind. You got to fight. You got to get your hands dirty. I think that's something that, you know, a lot of people hopefully realize sooner than later. But sometimes I think it can be a bit of a shock, um, you know, almost when it's too late. So, uh, you know, that was my biggest takeaway from the book. And I've kind of carried that, that with me ever since. And for a final question, what is your favorite quote and why? That would have to be Los Angeles, Give Me Some of You by John Fonte. Uh, I just love the energy of it. It's got that like stamp of the explorer in it, um, you know, that explosion of wanting to see everything, of wanting to experience a strange, weird life. And, uh, you know, that's exactly what I feel everywhere I go. So, uh, I remember just reading that like simple line and uh, you know, for me it was like, Oh world, you know, give me some of you. But um, you know, the way he writes it is, you know, just solely based on Los Angeles. But uh, that to me is just what I love in life. It's just eyes open, just emerging, immersing yourself in it all. Well, Mark, I want to thank you for being a guest on the show. What is the best way for people to find you online? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, my website is uh, www.romeowrights.com. Um, it's the same with my uh, Instagram situation. Um, uh, definitely, 
if anybody feels like they'd love to reach out and talk, discuss, I, I love that more than anything. You know, connecting with strangers and readers is uh, certainly um, my favorite part about writing. So, uh, you know, aside from putting together words. But, um, yeah, please do. And, and, Paul, it's been an absolute pleasure. I really appreciate you taking the time and uh, asking some really good questions. And hopefully, you know, can help uh, help people in some of their trying times here. Well, Mark, thank you again for being a guest on the show. And I wish you all the best in your author journey ahead. Thanks a lot, Paul. How are we going? Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how to get your book published with a proven system that works, grab a free copy of my book at getpublishedpodcast.com.